everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to teach you a little bit about website monitoring or web monitoring. Um, so what is web monitoring? So if you have an actual website, you own a website, you run a website, um, you want to actually make sure that that business, that website, that blog is online at all times. It's up. Uh, you also want to make sure that it is running correctly, it's fast, there's no bugs, um, there's no um, kind of hiccups along the way. So web monitoring will actually go and monitor on a regular basis your website, your pages, your actions, your visitors, etc. And if there's a problem, it'll alert you. Um, so I want to talk to you about a few different types of web monitoring. So the first one, which is probably the most common one, uh, is what we call active monitoring. And active monitoring will basically run on a regular basis checks to your website. Typically, they would be uh, page visits, so they actually mimic or go to your website and request a specific page. So for example, this Google merchandise store right here, um, they'll actually ask for a page and verify that the server actually provided that page correctly or back to the browser. And so a tool will actually mimic the browser and request a page. So for example, let's say this lifestyle category page, right? And it'll request it and if it receives the page correctly, by verifying the status code, so verifying that the server did have that page and provided the HTML, provided the page, you can verify that it got correctly. Okay, um, so that is kind of the most common one, the active uh, monitoring. Monitoring. Uh, so the the typically these tools or the monitoring tool is not only going to monitor or check. Uh, a home page or a specific page, you typically want to check many, many pages on the site so you verify that all or some of your pages are actually loading correctly. Okay, now all is a little difficult because you may have a huge subset of pages, but you actually want to verify at least uh, a certain uh, category or certain uh, types of pages to mimic kind of the site-wide pages. So maybe a category page, a home page, a contact page, a content page. A product page, etc. Okay, um, so that that's that's the first thing. The second thing is what we call the real user monitoring or RUM, and what that will basically do is it'll actually monitor how real visitors are actually visiting your site. Which pages are they going? How fast are the pages loading? Um, what are they doing? Are they filling out forms? Are they successfully being able to actually? view your website and go through the website correctly. Do they have any kind of JavaScript errors or things like that? Okay. Um, the next one is server monitoring. That, that is actually monitoring the actual server, the actual device that is running your website uh, by looking at the actual uh, specifics of the website. So maybe CPU and RAM and uh, disk usage and network and uh, just traffic coming in and out. So those are kind of the more technical things, mostly based on uh, hardware or um, specific parts of the actual machine or the server, okay? Uh, the, the next one is the application monitoring. So if your website is connected to external services, either third-party systems or other systems, via APIs or application or external extensions or things like that, you want to actually monitor that the other parts of your website, not just the web server itself, is actually functioning correctly. So you would actually go on a regular basis and query those specific external parts. So maybe an API to connect to an inventory system or uh, maybe your ERP or things like that. So maybe the website is functioning correctly but if it's not getting data from third parties or from other systems your system is going to have an, a problem it's not going to update or there's going to be other errors okay um, and the last uh, popular one is transaction monitoring so transaction monitoring uh, is going to be similar to active monitoring but instead of visiting actual pages going to let's say a product page or so you're going to look at specific um, more details and more specifics about the uh, the user flow okay so for example an action might be logging in or an action might be cert using the search box um, or in many cases what we do is actions typically are a, a, a set of many actions so for example visit the website 
browse to a category page, add a specific product to the cart, modify the cart, log in, and then check out. So that could be one specific monitoring uh, logic that would actually say, let's say, browse and add to the cart. You can also have other ones, for example, use the filters. So uh, this type of transaction monitoring will actually verify kind of more specifics or more details about the functionality of the website rather than loading a specific page and just viewing. Okay, um, and one more thing which I, I forgot to mention before, uh, part of active monitoring, which was the first one I talked about, is that um, the active monitoring basically will request a page and verify if it's okay. So by getting a specific page from the web server correctly, you sometimes want to, to verify that that page actually is the correct page. So for example, if I receive a page from this Google merchandise store, um, I don't necessarily know if the page, the actual content is matching the, the page that I'm trying to get. All I know in regular active monitoring is that that page actually was received from the web server. So what you can actually do is do what we call the content matching or the string matching, which um, you can monitor a specific page and then look for a specific string, a specific term, word, phrase, multiple words on that page that is unique to that page. And if you get the entire HTML from the web server, that specific page, and you know that this specific page, for example, uh, has the word, let's say, uh, sanitizer in it, right? Hand sanitizer. So if you actually type in this phrase, you can verify that this page was received correctly because it does have this specific phrase inside, okay? Um, so that, that's basically it. That's a really, really quick overview of the different types of web monitoring, what is web monitoring, and the different types. Um, so in this YouTube video description, you can see a link to our article which explains much more detail about web monitoring and of course if you have any questions I'll be very happy to answer. Thank you.